Hi, and welcome to another video in this series about gas server mode for split splitlet inlet. In the last couple of two videos, we have been explaining about what is gas server mode, how to activate the gas server mode, and whether or not you should turn on the gas server mode always. Right? So in this video, we examine the next question is at what time should it be activated? Or what time should we turn on the gas server mode? If you look at the gas, uh, the default one, let me show you the default one. When you turn on the gas server mode, it always show you two minutes. But the question is why two minutes and should we change this to another timing? Whether it's one minute, whether it's something else, right? So in this video, I will be explaining what is a good timing for you to put inside here. All right. So just a recap for you that the total flow that, that, that you want to consume is the total combination of the split flow, plus the septum flow, as well as the color flow. One in is equal to three out. Okay. All right. So uh, uh, let's put uh, ourselves inside this situation that, that let's say we try to turn on the gas mode at one minute instead of two minutes. What would be the saving? So uh, let's first look at the one on top here where we have no gas mode at all. And the total consumption in case is 500 mil per minute for uh, the split flow, 5 mil per minute for the column flow, 3 mil per minute for the uh, septum flow rate. So that is the total of 14 times 508, that is 7,000 mil per minute. That means one helium cylinder will last you for 22 hours. Okay. But what if you turn on the gas silver mode at one minute and the flow rate will still keep at 20 mil per minute? We don't change this one. But we turn on turn this on earlier at one minute, and you will see the consumption right now is 500 over here plus 5 plus 3 that 508 for one minute, and uh, 28 minutes 28 mil per minute for the remaining 13 minutes, right? So that is 8,872 mil per minute in total. So one helium cylinder will last you for 179 hours. That is eight times more. That's a lot of saving, right? So you see the earlier you turn on the gas server mode, the more you'll be saving, right? That's very obvious. Okay, but here's the question. Can we just keep reducing the gas server, gas server time? That means, can we go like 0.5 minutes? Or can we go even 0.1 minutes? That's the next question we want to answer. So, but obviously you will see the, the earlier you turn it on, the better, the more you'll be saving, right? But we need to have like a certain point where we need to have to stop. We, we can't keep, uh, going back i mean going low uh, earlier and earlier right so in this video i show you why all right so uh this is another scenario if what if you turn on the gas mode at 0.1 minute that is that we, we do the same uh calculation we'll be seeing that uh we'll be saving 11 times more compared to uh, the one without gas mode so the one just now if you turn on at one minute it will be eight times more but if you do it 0.5 minutes, that would be 11 times more. So you see, even only 0.5 minutes, that saves you three times more, right, of the total consumption. That is a lot, that's a huge, right? So uh, I think it's very, temp uh, it's very tempted to try to go earlier to save more, right? especially helium where it's running out and it's, it's getting more and more expensive right now, right? Okay, so let me show you, uh, just to recap, uh, to, to show you this one, the speed ratio always, Remember, split ratio is defined as the split flow divided by the column flow. Split flow right here divided by the column flow that you define in, in the column section, right? So split ratio is 100. That means the split flow is 500 divided by 5 over here. Okay, let's keep it in mind, right? Now let's look at this. Uh, uh, so at first, let's uh, look at the scenario that uh, why the gas mode is developed at first place, right? The reason why gas mode is there is because uh, you only want to split the sample when the sample is still somewhere into the liner, right? So let me go back to this uh, diagram just now. Okay, this is where the splitting process will happen, right? So if your sample is somewhere here, you might still want to split your sample because you don't want all of your sample to get into the column. So you want to have a split flow from here so that to divert some of the sample into the split bank over here when the sample is here. But the question is, if your sample has already transferred fully into the column, there's no point to do splitting anymore, right? So that's why the gas remote has been developed. That means once your sample has been inside, you have no reason to turn on the to, 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 to use that much amount of uh, 
category has to split the sample anymore because, they, because there's no more sample here for you to split, right? So basically, you just split category gas, so that's useless, right? So keep that in mind, all right? So now let's assume the case that let's say the sample we we need one minute to go into the column, okay? Let's keep that in mind. What if I tell you the sample we need probably one minute to get to enter the column? Okay, so that means if you turn on the gas saver mode as two minutes over here, you know for sure that sample has been transferred into the column, right? So that means the speed ratio that you were, you were using for the sample was, the, you, you turn it on at five at two minutes over here, that means at one minute, the flow rate was 500 mil per minute. So that means the split flow is 500, column flow is five, so the speed ratio is, is 10, 100 to one, right? Okay. You split 100 to 1 if you turn on gas and at 2 minutes over here. But what if you do it too early uh, at 0.5 minutes? So for at this 0.5 minutes, the sample is not fully getting into the column yet. So that means your speed ratio in this case actually, because you turn it on too early over here, the split flow right now will become the gas saver flow rate. Right? And that is only 20. Right. And the column flow is still 5, so that means 20 divided by 5. The spray ratio right now is only 4 to 1 compared to 100 to 1 right now. So what will happen? What, what is the consequence of that one? You will be seeing huge amount of molecules from the sample getting into the column, right? So if you are doing too early, the gas is too early like this case, what you will be seeing is this is what the real program that I did just to explain on this. And what I do, uh, if I turn on the gas and water at 0.5 minutes, you will be seeing the size of the peak look like this. But if you, I, I do that purposely very, very early at 0 .0 50 minutes, that is very, very early, ridiculously early, then you see that the peak will increase significantly, right? Because it's, the sample has not fully transferred into the column yet, and you already alter the split flow becomes a gas saver flow. That's how you get a lot more sample getting to, into the column. So this is the effect that you'll be seeing. So that's why you see it's very important that you don't want to turn on a gas cell. So that's, that's, that is another effect that you'll be seeing. If you turn on the gas cell what too early is, sometimes you will see the peak being like split a little bit here. It look like, like two compounds inside one peak over here, but in fact it's one peak that is being split. So you see the red trace over here is the one that I ran at uh, a little bit late uh, gas saver time. Then the blue one is I turn on much, much earlier. So that you will see that the peak is the same, uh, the same sample, the same peak over here, but it's being split, whether it's small. All right, so that is the effect of uh, turning on the gas almost too early. Again, just to recap to you that, if you turn on the gas almost too early, you need to determine what time the sample is on, has been into the column. Right. This is very, very important for you to, uh, to determine. So if you are using like a normal uh, auto injector, you know, the liquid injection, uh, usually it will take probably very, very quick, probably just a few seconds or 0.5 minutes should be more than enough for you. So it should be safe to do uh, two minutes gas saver or even one minute should be good, 0.5 minutes or for one minute, something like that. But when it's come to uh, valve injection, you know, you have a gas sample or you have the uh, LPG sample, where you have to define at what time you want to switch the valve to turn to send the sample to the column. In some cases, you have, uh, let's say the valve will start injection at, let's say five minutes. Somehow you just, for the first five minutes, you don't want to do anything for your method. Only at five minutes, you want to turn on the valve to send the sample into the column. So that means your gas saver over here have to be more than five minutes. It's, it's no longer two minutes over here, so it's, it should be at least uh, 5.5 minutes or 6 minutes or 7 minutes or something like that. Right? You don't want to turn it on at 2 minutes over here. Otherwise, you have this kind of effect over here. The spray ratio will not be correct anymore. It will not be using the correct flow rate of the split over here to do the splitting for you. So where you get, you have the problem with your splitting. You will see the peak will be getting much, much bigger over here if your split, split flow is much higher and the gas saver flow. Right. Okay. So that's... Uh, that's the answer to the question whether at what time you should turn on a gas server mode. Okay, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section if you have any question about this one. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.